स्टूडेंट्स इन द केस ऑफ ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन आफ्टर द प्रोसेस ऑफ गेमेटो जेनेसिस गेमेटो जेनेसिस इन विच एक्रेंस ऑफ स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस एंड टू जेनेसिस एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस स्पम्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड स्पम्स and then a process of oogenesis ovum is produced ovum here during the process of spermatogenesis the sperms which are produced in a seminiferous tubules and release the sperms from the seminiferous tubule that process that is called as is permeation uh, after the release of sperms which are enters into the duct by epididymis and which are enters into the duct of vas deferens and finally the sperms which are mixed with seminal seminal plasma here the sperm with seminal plasma together called semen here semen means seminal plasma seminal plasma containing sperms that is called as a semen now uh, in the case of oogenesis the egg or ovum is produced the ultimately the ovum is collected the ovum is entered into the fallopian tube particularly at the region of uh, this portion that is called as ampullary region it is the junction it is the ampulla ampulla and the stomach junction at the region of this junction the egg is entered it means secondary oocyte a secondary oocyte particularly the secondary oocyte is uh, entered particularly at the time of fertilization process here yeah. uh, after the process of after the process of spermatogenesis after the process of oogenesis the male and female gametes which are produced here the in the case of human reproduction very important process that is called as fertilization process here the fertilization means fusion of haploid sperm fusion of haploid sperm with a haploid ovum haploid ovum to form a zygote to form a diploid zygote that process is called as a fertilization process during the process of fertilization during the process of fertilization male introduce the semen into the vagina of the female males male introduce the semen uh, in the region of uh, vagina of the female tract female reproductive system that process is called as insemination insemination process after the process of insemination the sperms the sperms which are entered into the uterus through cervical canal through cervical canal here the sperms which are entered through the cervical canal by the process of swimming the uh, sperms which are swim in the case of in this track by the help of a tail the usually the sperms which are enters into the pain or uterus through that through that cervical canal and ultimately the sperms which are reach at the region of fallopian tube uh, by the process of oogenesis the it is the part that is called as the fimbria fimbria collect uh fimbria collect the secondary oocyte afterwards that secondary oocyte is entered through the infant velum and finally that will reach at the region of uh, at the region of stomach ampullary junction at the region of stomach ampullary junction the fertilization uh, is completed fertilization is completed particularly inside the fallopian tube therefore the human fertilization is always internal 
fertilization internal fertilization particularly the fusion of male and female gamete takes place at the region of ampullary isthmic junction of the fallopian tube but uh, at the time of fertilization process suppose it is the the ovum ovum containing ooplasm will they haploid nucleus with the haploid nucleus around that egg presence of plasma membrane and in addition to that one more membrane is formed around the ovum a particular area the ovum is called second oocyte around the second oocyte one of the jelly membrane is formed that jelly membrane that is called as zona pellucida zona pellucida is present around the plasma membrane of the and around that zona pellucida the ruptured membrane of granulosa cells it is modified into irregular covering that is called as corona radiator corona radiator at the time of fertilization process particularly at the region of this part this portion ampullary isthmic junction the sperms which are move towards the sperms which are move towards the egg or second is secondary secondary oocyte the sperms which are second oocyte the sperms which are move towards the oocyte secondary oocyte the one of the sperm is passed through corona radiata suppose this is the sperm that should be connected passing through corona radiata and touches to that of a zona pellucida touches to that of a zona pellucida during such time during such time the tip most region of the egg of the sperm containing acrosome the acrosome is burst open then there is a release of lytic substances such lytic substances that lytic substances dissolves the zona pellucida and dissolves the zona pellucida and plasma membrane of the secondary oocyte and ultimately ultimately the sperm egg is entered into the cytoplasmic division of the secondary oocyte after the entry of the head of the sperm into that cytoplasmic division of the secondary oocyte in the particular granules which are present at the region of peripheral division of the egg the particular granules which are migrated out the particular granules which are migrated out and that to be enters into the of a zona pellucida after the entry of particular granules into the zona pellucida that zona pellucida becomes hard layer the hard layer here that hard layer will not permeate the other sperms only one sperm is entered into the egg the other sperms will not enter because zona pellucida are around the plasma membrane where there is a modification of thick membrane that thick membrane prevents the entry of other sperms only one sperm is entered into the egg that is the process that is called as a monospermic process monospermic it means only one sperm is entered one sperm head is entered into the egg as a cytoplasmic division of the egg and after the entry of this head of the sperm only nucleus is remains and other parts other portions which are disintegrated the nucleus of the sperm is moved towards the secondary oocyte nucleus secondary oocyte nucleus are egg during the entry of the sperm into the egg the second meiosis is takes place during the process 
of Samuja says, second Niyasi is takes place during the second Niyasi is also what is that? Egg is formed or during the entry of the sperm, the second oocyte becomes a ovum. Ovum. During the journey of the sperm into the egg, what is that? Second Niyasi is completed in the process of Genesis. Then there is a formation of two unequal sized vessels. One is an egg or ovum and one more polar body. Here that should be happened during the entry of the sperm into the secondary oocyte and afterwards during the process of fertilization, during the process of vision of this nucleus, sperm nucleus and egg nucleus, here the, this structure is modified into ovum. And afterwards the sperm nucleus and the egg nucleus which are fused, then there is a formation of which are fused, then there is a formation of diploid nucleus. Diploid nucleus is formed. That the diploid the egg containing diploid nucleus that should be considered as fertilized egg or fertilized ovum. That fertilized ovum is also called as zygote. Usually the fusion of male gamete and female gamete takes place at the region of the ampullary region. Ampullary region, in the ampullary region, the fertilization process is completed. Fertilization process is completed and afterwards it is the structure is modified into the ovum is modified into zygote. Zygote. Here at the region of that color picture, suppose it is the zygote. Around the zygote presence of Z3, it means zona of is present, it is the zygote. The zygote division is a zygote undergo mitotic division. The mitotic division of zygote, the repeated the rapid the mitotic division of the zygote, that process is called as cleavage. Here, the zygote, uh, particularly in a development of itself, zygote undergo cleavage to produce. Here, these are the embryonic cells. These embryonic cells are called as blastomeres. Blastomeres. It is the one that is called as two cell embryo. Two cell embryo is formed. That two cell embryo containing two blastomeres. Here, blastomeres means embryonic cells. That the division means cleavage. Continued, then there is a formation of four cells, four cells within the zona pellucida. Four cells. It is the one that is called kind of four blastomeres which are formed. Uh, it is the one that is called as a four cell embryo. Four cell embryo. Then uh, there is a formation of eight cell embryo. Then there is a formation of eight cell embryo is formed. 8 cell embryo, then it is 8 cell embryo, and that 8 cell embryo is modified into 16 cell embryo. Suppose the 16 blastomeres which are occur in the case of formal stage of the embryo, it is when there is 16 uh, cell embryo, 16 cell embryo is formed. And ultimately, uh, the multiplication and the division is uh, continued. Then there is a formation of one more embryonic stage that is called as blastocyst. Blastocyst of mammals, that is called as a blastocyst. Here, the embryonic cells, it means blastomeres, which are organized, which are arranged into two regions. The outermost covering of the embryo, the outermost covering of the embryo that is called as trophoblast. Trophoblast layer is formed by blastomeres, and some of the cells which are attached to the trophoblast 
has in one side are uh, these are the cells are called as inner cell mass it is called inner cell mass inner cell mass is formed the inner mass cell mass that should be containing blastocyst inner these are the cells which are considered as stem cells these are the cells which are considered as stem cells because uh, these cells which undergo potential to produce a tissues and organs therefore these are the cells which are considered as a stem cells these cells which are having the capacity uh, to producing tissues and the organs here it is a well developed embryo that is called as a blastocyst that blastocyst uh, around the blastocyst here also occurrence of zona parasita here around the blastocyst occurrence of zona parasita below that zona parasita here the blastocyst which are modified into prophoblast other type of blastocyst which are modified into inner cell mass and particularly in this stage blastocyst occurrence of a cavity fluid filled cavity that uh, fluid filled cavity is called blasto seal c o e l blasto seal is formed here during the, these are the stages which are considered as a development of uh, embryonic stages uh, embryonic stages development in which zygote undergo cleavage to produce a last stage that is called as a blastocyst stage here the 16 cell stage 16 cell embryonic stage eight cell eight cell embryonic stages which are considered as a morula stages morula the morula uh, it is the embryonic stage the embryonic stage which containing 16 cells are eight cells these are the uh, developmental stages it is means embryonic uh, developmental stages that should be taken place particularly at the region of parapento with the help of with the help of cilia particularly in the lining of this parapento occurrence of a one of the tissues lined that the tissue that is called as what is that cilia ciliated epithelial epithelial tissue particularly the uh, in this portion in this uh, tube parapento tube here there is a occurrence of uh, two cell embryo and uh, then there is the formation of a uh, four cell embryo then there is the formation of a uh, eight cell embryo 16 cell embryo and the base region of it, these are the stages which are called morula stages morula it is the zygote undergo cleavage to produce two cell four cell eight cell sixteen cell then there is a division is a division is irregular then there is a formation of a more embryonic stage that is called as blastocyst stage the formation of blastocyst stage from zygote to blastocyst formation of blastocyst from the zygote the duration is required it is about after the fertilization of the uh, within 7 days with that blastocyst is formed the blastocyst here there is a movement of it means a movement of embryonic stages which are takes place particularly in a pelvic tube towards the uterus with the help of ciliated epithelial tissue after the reach of this stage blastocyst into the uterus into the uterus into the uterus the trophoblast cells here during the process of fertilization after the process of fertilization the layer when it's endometrial layer becomes very very thick endometrial layer is very thick due to the effect of uh, Uh, due to the effect of progesterone hormone, the trophoblast cells which secretes the enzyme secretes the enzyme. That enzyme dissolves the dissolves the portion of endometrium where there is a one of the cavity is formed. One of the cavity is formed. Then that blastocyst is embedded into the embedded into the endometrium endometrium uh, embedded into the endometrium then the cells endometrial cells which 
which covers the which covers the blastocyst here here there is evidence of one of the process that process that is called as implantation process implantation implantation is the process in which implantation is the process in which attachment of growing embryo attachment of blastocyst to the endometrium of the uterus attachment of blastocyst to the endometrium of uterus that process is called as implantation process implantation process is very very important for the process of pregnancy period pregnancy implantation process is very very important here yeah, the implantation means attachment of blastocyst to the endometrium of the uterus that process is called as implantation after the implantation after the process of implantation after the attachment of blastocyst to the endometrium of the uterus here there is a blastocyst which containing inner cell walls or stem cells around that the occurrence of uh, uh, cells called layer of cells called trophoblast here the trophoblast is differentiated into two layers trophoblast is differentiated after the attachment after the implantation trophoblast is differentiated into outer layer and inner layer outer layer and inner layer particularly the outer layer produces finger like projections here the outermost layer outermost layer of the trophoblast after the implantation that is the layer that is called as chorion chorionic layer chorionic layer the chorionic layer during the process of after the process of implantation during the process of pregnancy the chorion chorionic membrane a chorion produces a finger like projections that finger like projections which are considered as chorionic chorionic villi chorionic villi the chorionic villi which are formed that chorionic villi which are enters into the vein endometrium of the uterus wall of the uterus the chorionic villi is suppose it is the wall of the uterus chorionic villi which are enters into the wall of the uterus wall of the uterus here ultimately the connection is developed the connection is developed between between the embryo between developing embryo and the wall of the uh, uterus and a uh, mother tissue there is a ultimate connection is developed that connection that is called as placenta placenta is developed uh, here the placenta means it is the organic connection organic connection between between mother and developing fetus organic connection between mother and developing embryo for the purpose of physiological exchange that is called as placenta placenta is developed between mother tissue and growing embryo here there is a placenta is developed that placenta uh, role is very very important major functions of placenta uh, placenta means organic connection between developing embryo and mother for the purpose of physiological exchange that is called as placenta here the major role major functions of placenta includes the placenta provides nutrition and oxygen to the fetus provide nutrients and oxygen to the oxygen to the fetus of uh, that placenta role is very very important placenta remove placenta removes carbon dioxide carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste from the fetus from the fetus and in addition to that placenta acts as endocrine 